guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is October 21st, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. Guys, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news coming out, and it says here Crane may be considering deploying a dirty bomb to escalate the biblical war and drag NATO into WW3. We are 13 days away from November 5th. And you guys already know that's the day where we're going to find out who will be the new Sleeping Giant leader. At the same time, you have nations testing their nukes. And you also have Crane. Well, they're getting their stuff ready. And it seems like they are creating a dirty B-O-M-B. There's a possibility something big is going to hit the fan before November. Alright guys, before I start, we're going to go with the verse of the day. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 21. And it says here, He is your praise. He is your God. Who performed for you those great and awesome wonders you saw with your own eyes. Now it says here, we're going to go with uh, thoughts on today's verse. God is our praise. Amen. The God who parted the Red Sea. Mm. And supplied manna to the Israelites in the wilderness. It's also the God who did the most amazing miracles for us and in us. He has turned our selfish hearts to this his, uh, to do his will, turn our lives to do his eternal work in the world, and turn us through the Holy Spirit's work to become more like Jesus. After doing all those things in us and for us, God has gifted and empowered us to do those things he has placed in our hearts to do. He is our praise, and he is worthy of that praise. He is the one we worship even as he is the one who makes us worthy worshipers. Here's a prayer. You are worthy, Abba, Father, of all glory, honor, and praise. You have done great and mighty works throughout the history of your people, Israel, most of whom were everyday people you used mightily. Thank you for using us to do your work in our world today. We praise you, dear Father, for using everyday folks like us to do your eternal work. In the name of Jesus, our King, I pray, amen. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago, Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. This is my first video of the day. It's 7.33 p.m. I've been very busy these last couple of days, but I did post a Patreon video today, and I, th uh, I think it was like around 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Now... Again, the link will be in the description box if you guys want to check out the live stream. So, um, memorize, learn, study the verse. The, uh, the verse will be in the comments box. Share it with your friends, families, and loved ones. We got to give thanks to the Lord for every day we wake up to a new day. It's a blessing. It's a gift. It, you know, We must thank our God in heaven for allowing us to wake up to build more memories with our friends, families, and loved ones. It says here, the most absurd development of recent days in the biblical war in Ukraine was the warning against the Western nation by the leader of Ukraine, Zelensk. Oh, by the way, they're going to give him, uh, they announced today, another $400 million is going uh, to Zelensk pocket. So meanwhile, Florida and North Carolina, you know, but uh, Zelensky, he got another 400 million. It's like every week uh, he's getting 400 million. Hmm. 
All right, so once again, the leader, Zelensk, that either Kiev is seated on NATO once and for all, or they get nuclear. Now, once again, this is a breaking news update, and we did talk about this one. Now, it says here, this demented rambling has been walked back repeatedly, but there's something about it that merits examining because it may point to Crane having decided to use a dirty BOMB, a crude artifact with nuclear waste that could cause radioactive contamination of a large section of territory and be the uh, catalyst of a worldwide nuclear exchange between the major powers. So Zelensky about to drag multiple lands into WW3. And he knows, he knows that his papa, Joe, is not gonna give him no more money. Now it says here, uh, the bombshell statement from Zelensk came on the sidelines of the EU latest summit in Brussels. He shockingly clarified, it's either NATO quickly for Kiev or Crane will once again become a nuclear power. Yeah, but how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? How are you going to do that, Zelensk? How are you going to do that? Julian. Unbilled reported, translated from the German. In a conversation with the sleeping giant presidential candidate Donald, a few weeks ago, the Ukrainian declared, either Crane will have nuclear and then will be our defense, or we will have to enter into some kind of alliance. Apart from NATO, we do not know of any effective alliances today. So, again, it's, I mean, it seems like Crane is in the middle. And they're letting the world know, hey, either we have protection or nukes. His agreement, which of these major countries among the nuclear powers were affected by the biblical war, all of them. No, only one, Crane, who has renounced nuclear weapons. All of them. Only one, Crane, who is at war today. Crane. All right, so that's uh, that's that's a powerful speech that came out from Zelensk. That's the leader of Ukraine. Ukraine. He's the one that came out, and um, he came out and uh, has sent a message. I think it was, if I'm not mistaken, I think it was a G20, right? If I'm not mistaken. And uh, Joe, he was out there too, and. I think it was Germany, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so it says here, Zelensk went as far as stating that Donald agreed with them, which is prosperous. Donald agreed. Hmm. But is that so? Can Crane build a very powerful bomb in a few weeks? In two weeks? Report... Uh, give me a second here. Um, I'm going to skip that name. Then recalled a report of what a high-ranking Ukrainian official hinted at the Build and other politicians and official months ago. Let's see. The West should not believe that Ukraine will accept a second of the bear strike on Kiev. Before that happens, it will rebuild its nuclear... Uh, which it has voluntarily given up since the early 1990s. In 2001, Crane gave up its last nuclear. These uh, explosive details came from high-ranking military officials dealing about the possible of the bare operation of Central and Eastern Crane. The officials specializing in equipment procurement said in a close meeting we have the material. We have the knowledge. If the order is given, we will only need a few weeks to have the first bomb. Hmm.
once again, the West should think less about the bare red lines and more about our red lines, the official said or warned. The pro-Ukrainian internet turned viciously on a German journalist. It says, sometimes I am getting a little bit desperate about Ukrainian information warfare. The leader says that the land will either have nuclear or NATO membership. And if we then say Ukrainian officials are also saying behind closed doors, give me a second, let me just read the rest of this. Let me just click on this article really quick. And if we then say Ukrainian officials are also saying behind closed doors that this would be an alternative they accuse us, respectively, me, of the bear propaganda. Sorry, but what a nonsense. I stain to what I wrote, and it is the absolute truth. Hmm. So it says here, so some of the denials by Kiev uh, came thrashing his reputation, accusing him of engaging of the bare disinformation. The office of the leader of Crane denied reports of the tabloid build that the Ukrainian authorities are allegedly seriously considering the possibility of restoring nuclear stockpiles. According to Dmitry, advisor for Zelensk, it had long been possible to confuse where the words of military column, uh, column, columnist uh, Bill Julian and where are the statement or where are the statements of the bear propagandist. All right, give me a second here, guys. I want to make sure that all this is the same news. The Gateway Pundits, sometimes they split their articles and stuff like that. But it seems like all this is the same news. Uh, therefore, both, uh, you have this person and the bear propaganda, throw the same nonsense into the information space. He added, whatever our opinion on, skip that name, he is a bona fide pro cranian writer, not a bear plant. The bear have... In Newson denied that Crane has any capability to build nuclear bombs. To begin with, they never had nukes. The missile station in their territory belonged to the SU, and later to the Commonwealth of Independent States, the Bear. And that's very true. That's very true. Crane never had nukes. They never had nukes, just like these other. SU, Soviet Union members, they never had nukes. It all belongs to the bear. So the bear denial came from MP, the Kremlin spokesman, Dmitry, the foreign minister, Sergei, and in a strange fashion from the leader, Vladimir himself. My favorite, uh, the bear writer, analyst, and news aggregator uh, reported on uh, Substack on Vladimir Ambigus reaction. He says it's not that hard, but it's not that easy to build nuclear in today's world. It may depend on what exactly we are talking about. A dirty BOMB or very crudely ineffective equipment can likely be done fairly easy but highly refined nuclear equipments are very difficult and these are the updates you see the bear isn't worried about any low grade small yield dirty BOMB why because if crane dared use anything of this sort the bear could nuke crane to the stone age with the impunity, meaning no ally will come 
to Crane defense, given that the knowledge of Crane used a nuke first. As such, uh, his warning is meaningless towards the bear. No. The warning is against Crane's allies. It's Zelensk long awaited blackmail of his own parties, with the message effectively being if you don't save us, we'll use nukes to force a confrontation between you and the bear and burn the whole world down with us. So basically, Zelensk is a mad man. He's mad. He's he just losing it. He's losing it. Again, 14 days left, and that's it. He's losing it, so he just want to completely drop a very powerful BOMB and drag the entire world to WW3. As for Ukrainian minister, he came to public stating that he do a lot of of bad things if NATO forced Kiev to exchange territory territories for a NATO membership. It says here this Ukrainian talk of nuclear should worry the Western powers. For the bear would not hesitate to use nukes and obliterate Crane in response. Zelensk nuclear ba uh, blackmail is really directed at his backers more than his enemy. Zelensk needs NATO to save Crane at all costs, and he seems willing to escalate in the biblical war a way that uh, warns the pro to provoke a clash between NATO and the bear. And that's where we are right now. That is where we are right now. And ladies and gentlemen, the sleeping giant announces another $400 million in military aid for Crane. The capabilities of this announcement include, look at all this. That's the list. Now, just imagine if that money would have gone to Florida or North Carolina and the list would have said, you know, um, generators or, you know, again, food and necessity stuff. Instead, it's going to foreigners, foreign lands. And these are all biblical war weapons. Under Joey, under the LEFT, we don't come first. The world comes first. They lied to you. They lied to you. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, please share the video. For those of you that want to give a like to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters and prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon. We get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. For he's the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but through Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time later. Peace.